beautiful. Six. Wherever the freshest catch lands in the Newport Marina, the camera switch buckets. That's where you'll find Amber Morris. Look at it. Pristine. It's beautiful. It's not soft, it's fresh. The blood's out. The rabbi would bless it. She always knows when fishermen like Larry Davis are coming in with fresh salmon and halibut. And she's at the dock to buy it right off his boat. The two sisters. When you go down on the boat and the fish is being taken out of the ice hold, it's just glimmering, glistening, and it's beautiful, and it's fresh. And it's an honor to buy the fish and then serve it. It's so fresh, the ocean hasn't missed it. Now she's movie star. <laughs> Good morning, Rocky. She's a fishmonger, buying and selling seafood day in, day out, and writing checks on the back of her pickup truck. Well, this is a fish ticket, 236 pounds, minus the garbage cans, and 21 fish. Oh, and the halibut, 50 pounds. We call her our fish goddess. And without Amber, I don't know how we could maintain buying from as many boats as we do. We buy from 50 or 60 different boats a year. And what she does is it's kind of magic. The fish she buys all end up here, at local ocean seafoods, where it's also her job to sell them in the fish market. Most of the seafood that lands on Newport's docks is delivered in bulk and disappears into a processing plant. But Amber works on a smaller scale. This is what Larry Davis caught, this beautiful fish from the two sisters. One fisherman and one customer at a time. Her way of doing things may not be the fastest or the most conventional. Not everybody uses a big knife like this. I do. And she's got this giant knife. I mean, the knife is like a sword. You don't touch Amber's knife. It's true. Everybody knows whose knife is Amber's, and it's just Amber's. Yeah, it's very firm. Hey, Ed. Here you go. Thank you. Good. What would you like today? We have fresh salmon. I need three pounds. A salmon. So don't cut too much. I'll leave that. So this yeah. is. Yeah. Good. You want to see a picture of the fisherman that caught your fish? There he is. Larry Davis from the Two Sisters. What else? Two big crab. So I'm going to have to go find some. So we'll see what's going on here. <laughs> see, she's weighing them by hand. She knows what's going on. She takes me seriously when I said big, right? She's like, OK, okay I'm going to go find big. She spends time with each customer, no matter how long the line gets. People have to wait in line, right? And each person that walks in gets individual attention. She says it's like a Jewish deli. So when certain things come in, you get a phone call, you get a text. She knows what part of the salmon I want, like if I'm going to buy a piece of smoked fish. With each fillet she sells and every scoop of ice she bags up, she always seems to add a little something extra. So happy to see you. Yes, it's good to be you back. Know? And we were one of the first people to come here when the place opened. Um, June 26, yeah. 14 years ago. Yeah. We're one of the old schools. Sometimes it's a selfie. <laughs> Can I take a picture of you with my camera? Of course. Because I've been doing that. To play. Ready? All right. There it is. Thank you. Second. It may take a little longer, but her customers, some of whom are local chefs, say it's always worth the wait. <laughs> Sometimes like the boats will be late and like she won't, she's like, I'm coming. She's like, she'll call me. She'll be like, I'm coming, don't you worry. I mean, it's like, I'm like, Amber, dinner's in like 20 minutes, you know? And she'll drive up here, I'll she hurry. parks right there and she'll come in with this, the fish isn't even cut. And the, and the fish in one hand, the knife in other, she'll walk right past a full dining room of people and they're like, what is going on? And she'll go in the back door and just, 
here you go. And she said, I told you I'd be there. <laughs> you know, and like, she's amazing. I mean, <laughs> amazing. If Amber had her way, this story wouldn't be about her. It would be about the fishermen. Yeah, we honor the fishermen. The name of the boat is on the fish. And they take pride in their boat. People actually ask me that all the time. Why don't more places do this? And the answer is it's, it's really hard. But Amber doesn't mind doing things the hard way. Dave should be here. Dave? Yeah, Amber. Hey, hi. Hello. How are you today? It's what I love doing. So I don't consider it hard. That's how we do it, one at a time. Yeah, we do like to fight. Uh, you got to know how to deal with fishermen. Yeah, fishermen are so unique. They're so different, each one. They're good, mad moods. You never know where they're, how they're feeling. Amber's just so low-key, nice to everybody. You kind of want to make her happy. And you want to bring your product to somewhere local. You know, most of our product goes on a truck, and we never see it again. That's a good crab right there. That's a really nice summertime crab, hard as a rock. Yeah, I'm hands on. I can just kind of drop it down. These are nice crab, Dave. Yeah, there's some good ones in there. Yeah, look at that. People come from all over Oregon, and they come to buy the fish. So I want to be there to be on top of everything every day. 119. So come to the office. And last but not <laughs> least, the signature. All righty, thank you. All right, thank you. Until next time.